Dear students, it's not the dearth of knowledge that leads to failure in examinations, but the lack of preparedness and strategies. In this video, let's discuss about a time-tested and a perfect way of writing answers in examination for any kind of questions, be it known or unknown or any bouncer questions. So, here is a answer writing template. Please be with me while writing. At the end, I'll uh, discuss the same with an example as well. So, our template includes five headings, main headings, under which there are three subheadings each. So, first heading is introduction. For any question, whatever is asked, you have to write a brief introduction, which may consist three things, three subheadings. One, definition. You may have to write a definition of the same. Or you may have to write the types. If there are any particular types of the condition, you may have to include that. Then third thing is, if there are any classifications or criterias, you may include as a third subheading. Okay. This is the first introduction. Second one is etiology. Under this heading, you again have three subheadings. First is risk factors. Risk factors for the particular condition. Again, you can uh, classify them into modifiable and non modifiable. Okay. Second one is causes. What are the causes for that particular condition? Again, for any given disease or condition, there could be five types of causes. Again, I am making this uh, template uh, very simple for you. Again, causes can be either congenital, congenital or genetic causes. Second is traumatic. Third is infection or inf inflammation. Okay. Fourth could be neoplastic. It could be either benign or malignant. And uh, the fifth cause could be when it's a metabolic cause or autoimmune or in nature. All those things we put together we call idiopathic. Okay. Idiopathic. So, any condition, any given condition can, may belong to any of these causes. Okay. And the third Subheading, what you can write is pathophysiology. Pathophysiology. Okay, a brief to how this particular causes or risk factors result in that particular condition. You may explain one or two lines or better in a flowchart manner. Okay, this is about second heading that is etiology. Third is clinical features. Clinical features again contains three subheadings. One is symptoms, or the problems with which patients present to you. Next, you have signs after whatever you elicit after examination. Second is signs after examination. Whatever the signs you elicit, you may mention that. Third thing, sometimes a patient may come to you with or present with some complications, so you can directly mention the complications of that condition. Okay. So, clinical features can be either you can write uh, under the subheadings of symptoms, signs and complications. Fourth heading is after the clinical evaluation, we send a patient or a particular disease for further evaluation. Right. So, that is investigations. Investigations. Again, under this you have three subheadings. First thing is laboratory investigations, like you have blood tests, urine tests, sputum examination, stool examination, all those things under laboratory tests. Second is imaging or radiological, right? Like X ray, USG, CT, MRI, echo, PET scan, etc. Any imaging modality you use for evaluation. Third thing is pathology, like biopsy, 
एफ एन ए सी और एनी काइंड ऑफ बायोपसी यू यूटिलाइज फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर कंडीशन टू इन्वेस्टिगेट एंड द फिफ्थ हेडिंग इज ट्रीटमेंट ट्रीटमेंट अगेन यू हैव थ्री मॉडालिटीज ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट मेडिकल इंटरवेंशनल एंड सर्जिकल फॉर अ गिवन कंडीशन विच योर स्यूट्स द मोस्ट यू कैन मैंशन मेडिकल अगेन लाइफ स्टाइल मैनेजमेंट डायटरी मैनेजमेंट एंड सम फार्माकोलॉजिकल मैनेजमेंट इंटरवेंशनल लाइक एंडोस्कोपिक और सम आइंडियो प्लास्टी लेजर ऑल दिस कम्स एंड इंटरवेंशनल सर्जिकल प्योरली सर्जरी अंडर स्पेशली इन सर्जरी सब्जेक्ट यू गेट अनदर क्वेश्चन कॉल्ड कॉम्प्लिकेशन मैंशन द कॉम्प्लिकेशन ऑफ दिस सर्जरी दैट सर्जरी राइट so again there is a template for that any surgery can have three types of complications one is intra op intra operative immediate post operative and delayed complications right intra operative only two things can happen one is hemorrhage or bleeding second thing is injury to surrounding structures injury to nearby structures only these two if you know the anatomy you can write what are the uh, possible injuries okay immediate post operative like seroma formation infections all those things delayed uh, maybe some recurrence and all you can include okay this is the template if you want to discuss with an example take any any question for that matter in fact you endocarditis or hernia appendicitis pneumonia what are the question may be maybe you are not prepared anything still you write the template okay first you write down the template then you start filling it up okay for introduction definition definition of hernia you write in one or two lines whatever you know write in one or two lines then the types of hernia okay and uh, if there is any classification of hernia or thyroid malignancies you can write that as a introductory part second etiology risk factors the question is lung cancer the what are the risk factors are there for lung cancers you can write and what are the causes for the same and what is the pathophysiology how does this smoking causes copd you can write it in a, a nice three four line flow chart manner that will be very impressive third thing clinical features the symptoms like uh, in infective endocarditis fever with chills a uh, breathlessness chest pain you can write signs uh, like uh, janvalisions osler notes all those examination findings you can include in signs and complication with which uh, they may present to you they can also it can also be included in the clinical features investigations for example for uh, thyroid malignancies what are the laboratory investigations you get done like a uh, thyroid function test and other uh, uh, complete uh, hemo hemogram all those things imaging you want to get a ultrasound done you may get a x ray of the neck done or sometimes you may have to get a ct scan done okay pathology you may get a fnac or uh, maybe some uh, core needle biopsy for this to confirm the malignancy right these are the investigations treatment medical management medical you, you may tell some uh, uh, anti thyroid drugs or uh, uh, thyroid supplements for interventional like uh, radio iodine therapy you may suggest surgical like thyroidectomy complications if you want to discuss intraoperatively what can happen i told you only bleeding and injury to uh, surrounding structures bleeding from the superior thyroid or inferior thyroid vessels injury to the surrounding structures like recurrent laryngeal nerve superior laryngeal nerve parathyroids trachea etc immediate post operatively there could be reactionary bleeding seroma formation uh, etc delayed it could be there could be some recurrence and other things so with this template i'm very sure that you can attempt anything and everything okay you can write uh, answers to any kind of questions if you follow this uh, particular template so practice this writing in this format only so with ease you can uh, succeed in any kind of examinations wishing you all the success thank you